Hello, my name is Emily Healy. I'm a Peace Corps volunteer in the Gobi Desert in Mongolia, and I want to answer a couple frequently answered questions that people often have about Peace Corps. The first of which is, what do Peace Corps volunteers do? There are a lot of TEFL volunteers teaching English as a foreign language. I am one of them. We also have community economic development, community youth development, health volunteers, and in other countries there are agriculture volunteers, um, women's development, and things like that. Another question is, where do Peace Corps volunteers go? I'm in Central Asia. Uh, we also go to Africa, South America, and Eastern Europe. The service that you will have is two years and three months. The first three months of Peace Corps are training, where you will live with a host family and other Peace Corps volunteers at a training site before you actually go to your other site. Another question is, how do, how do Peace Corps volunteers stay in touch with friends and family back home? There are always letters that you can write. Um, care packages are great to get. Everyone in Peace Corps makes really good friends with the, the post office people. And we also have cell phones, which are really great. I'm guessing a lot of Peace Corps volunteers in the 21st century have these because it's a modern world. And um, I'm lucky enough to have internet access at my school, which is really nice to email and check up on people. Another question that people have is about amenities. And what do I have to give up when I go to Peace Corps? You don't. You don't have to give up anything. You will always have water. I carry mine every day from a well nearby. And um, I have electricity, lucky enough. Some um, Peace Corps countries don't have uh, <laughs> as steady of electricity as I have. Um, but I do have it. Um, I don't, unfortunately, have running water, as I said, so there's no shower. Um, I can go to the, the IMAG Center, the, the big city, kind of the capital of my province and there's a shower house there, or there are other volunteers in the IMEG that sometimes have showers. <laughs> Mine don't, but um, there are other volunteers from other, other places in the world. There's a Japanese volunteer that I met who is offering her shower up to Peace Corps volunteers and other volunteers in the IMEG Center. Um, and, of course, I don't have uh, a bathroom. We have outhouses, which here are called Jorsons. Um And, of course, you're wondering about language now. How does language work? Well, Peace Corps trains you in language, one of the best lang language training programs in the world, and over your three months training, you will have four hours a day, five days a week of language. So you get everything you need from shopping at the grocery store, to going to the post office, to how do I deal with the bank, to how do I get around, what, what about transportation, and you get all of that. Peace Corps is very, very good about getting you the language that you need, that you will be using in your life as a volunteer. Another question is about requirements for joining Peace Corps. Peace Corps generally requires that you have a bachelor's degree and that you have studied a language before. Um, the, the mindset here is that if, you have, if you've studied a language before that you can, you can easily acquire another one. Um, and you also should have some volunteer experience in the past. <laughs> That's a really strong indicator that you can actually commit to two years and three months of your Peace Corps service. Um, another question is about safety and security. There was recently an ABC 2020 special that was aired about Peace Corps safety and security that made us look pretty bad. And I just want to say for the record that I've never, never had a problem. Um, I've never felt scared. I've never felt that, like Peace Corps can't handle what may come along, whether it be an emergency situation or medical. Um, in emergency situations, Peace Corps has a very thorough consolidation process where we all meet at one place and, and we're able to get out of the country if we need to. And we also have great medical staff. We have a lot of really great staff at our Peace Corps office here in Mongolia and through Peace Corps offices all over the world that are very well trained in what they do and know how to handle every situation. If a medical issue were to arise that your host country can't handle, Peace Corps will fly you to another country to get that taken care of. And here in Mongolia, we generally go to Thailand for things like that. And the last thing I want to talk about is the benefits of Peace Corps. Not only learning a new language and living in a new culture and experiencing the world from a different perspective, but also the benefits that you get when you leave Peace Corps. Peace Corps has a readjustment allowance that they'll give you, which now I believe is about $7,000. So you don't have to worry when you get out of Peace Corps about not having the means to support yourself. And Peace Corps also offers um, our PCVs, or Returned Peace Corps Volunteers, jobs not only in Peace Corps, but 
because we are working for the American government, we also get job openings in most government positions if we are so interested and through through other volunteer organizations in the world as well. And so Peace Corps is a really, really wonderful, wonderful organization to be a part of. Happy 50th anniversary to Peace Corps. And if you have any questions or anything that you'd like to talk about, I would be more than willing to answer or talk about anything you have as soon as I'm able to get online and answer your emails. Thank you.